Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. It's a bit of a film review, film review of a game, uh, and uh, I've done views of the two previous films, so the first one and the sequel, and this is the third one, and uh, I've also done reviews of the three games. Somebody was kind enough to uh, cut them all together and put it into one film and whacked it through a HD engine. This is where I'd usually show a case, however, this is a review of uh, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I'll include a link to the uh, HD movie. Um, yeah guys, this is my quick review of that film. So, like I say, the film is called Uncharted, Drake's Deception. It's uh, the third instalment of the game franchise turned, turned cut together film by Andy Gilland. Hope you've said your name right. The film starts out with Drake quoting Lawrence of Arabia. It then turns to uh, Sully and Nate doing business in England, which I think is pretty good to see. I did mention it in uh, my Uncharted 3 game review, link down below, uh, that Uncharted should have some sort of uh, English feel. And uh, in Uncharted 3 the game, also the movie that I'm reviewing now, there is a bit of an English feel. This is not a spoiler, but uh, Drake and Sully both get shot. Uh, so don't worry really, uh, this is part of the game's story. So after being shot, um, we travel back in time uh, to Drake's young boyhood childhood, really. Even as a young boy, Drake is up to his old tricks. Watching young Drake, uh, so you do get to play as him in the game, however in this cut together film, uh, you see Drake, a young Drake that is, I mean it must be uh, early teens maybe, and uh, it is annoying to be honest, playing it was annoying and watching it again is annoying, and once again I did not like it, I wanted to watch Drake and I wanted to play as Drake, I did not want to play and watch young Drake in any Uncharted game or cut together film, however one good point was that it was good to see how Sully and Nate got together became friends and also became family. The film is good. It uh, refreshes your mind of how good the f game was. The film is also good because it almost acts like a walkthrough. I have completed the game so the walkthrough part wasn't really uh, necessary or needed however if uh, I didn't complete the game then I can see how it would be useful for a walkthrough. If you are new to the game franchise of Uncharted, uh, then I do think and I do recommend that this film would be good in uh, a walkthrough type hint uh, for you to complete the game. So once again, like they have done in previous games and films, uh, Nate and Sully travel the world in search of treasures that Lawrence of Arabia hid on his travels around the world. I do think that I could have used this uh, film as a walkthrough when I did play the game. The story is interesting, graphics are alright, like I say it's from a game, it's been cut together and it's been put through a HD engine. The film is long, it is on roughly for 3 hours 20 minutes so it is a bit of a long film even to today's standards. Drake and Sully have an English friend by the name of Charlie. They are also joined by old friends uh, including Chloe and Elena, which are good to see really because they've been on uh, past games, films as well. Of course the film had puzzles that needed to be solved, the odd twist, turn and surprise along the way. There is a point in the film that was obviously from a game where Drake gets a dart in the neck. It was odd and annoying to play and to relive it again in a film was annoying to say the least so I did fast forward that part. I did forget about the pirates in the boats uh, before I watched this film. And all the scenes that included the boats and you had to jump from boat to boat, all the pirates that were involved had great scenery and great effects and uh, yeah it was good to watch that again really. The race to get onto, in and crashing the plane was once again enjoyable to watch. I mean the first time around I did play it so to sit back and actually watch all the action on the plane uh, was pretty good to see. But to watch Drake walk through the desert again that was uh, pretty crap and a bit of a drag. I did once again fast forward on that. There is a good ending to the film and overall is worth a watch if you do have a spare three hours and you are, like me, a fan of the Uncharted franchise. So guys, thank you for uh, watching my review of the Uncharted Drake's Deception film that's been cut together from the game. Uh, I will include a link to the uh, HD 
Uncharted 3 um, Drake's Deception video that I watched. Also down below are links to any Uncharted review game that I've done, also the Uncharted films that I've done, all by the same guy called Andy Garland. I hope I said your name right. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my review of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception the film that's been cut together with game gameplay. As usual guys, don't forget TobyWTD, use that promo code gets you 20% off any read the devoted gear. All the links are down below with Uncharted film and game reviews. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my review of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception.